Welcome back to Chronic TV. Uh, we're here with the team behind Signature Move. If you guys want to just go down the line and introduce yourselves. Uh, my name is Fazia Mirza. I uh, co-wrote uh, and I'm a producer and I star in the movie. Uh, and I'm Jennifer Reeder. I directed it. And I'm Sarah Sanchez and I play Alma uh, in the movie. Awesome. And uh, I love the story behind this film. I feel like it's definitely something that this country needs right now. I mean, we have a lesbian Muslim lawyer. What? And, <laughs> and the love Not possible. To, and the love interest to a Mexican American woman. And um, yes. <laughs> and I just think that's awesome. And um, on top of that, it's just a female powered film from a great female director, an awesome female cast. Mm -hmm. Jennifer, what was it like working with such a strong um, female team? Well, so I feel like for every single film that I've ever done, I really kind of like pack the behind the camera with lots of women, you know? Mm -hmm. um, not only because I want to, that's sort of like I want to be comfortable on my own set, but I also think that it just takes one person to give somebody else an opportunity that maybe somebody else will um, look past. Uh, and so I kind of take for granted that my, that, that my crew is, um, you know, going to be like a, a pretty um, rad squad. But the, the woman, uh, Shaban Asmi, uh, the amazing woman, Shaban Asmi, who um, is a legendary Bollywood actress who's done lots and lots and lots of films, commented that she had not been on a set that was so female-centric and how she wow. really felt a big difference, just like sort of like in the kind of like the vibe and the tone, and she really appreciated that. So it was really great for someone else to come in who's got, who has so much film experience and to say that it was a really special set because there were so many women. That's great, a special movie. Um, and then, Fazia, you co-wrote and produced, co-produced, and also starred in it. What was it like wearing so many hats on this? All right, wearing a lot of hats is hard, but yeah. it makes me taller. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> like, it just, uh, you, you know, it's one of those things where I started creating because, you're, you're right, you like that one. Like, <laughs> that's good, that's, that's good. how you get the girl, folks. That's make her laugh. She falls all over you. <laughs> Um, yeah, I mean, it's one of those things where I started writing because I was an actor who didn't see myself portrayed and I didn't want to wait for someone else to tell mm -hmm. the stories that and the characters that were part of my world. Um, so I feel like wearing the hats is part of seeing yourself. Um, and so it, it's it's a lot of work, it's a lot of hustle. Yeah. It's my favorite hashtag these days is hashtag hustle, hashtag hustle life. Um, but it feels really important and essential part of um, my creating process, I guess. What a God, it sounds like my creating process. <laughs> process. But yeah, it's awesome. It was really exciting. And the cool thing is when you're creating something um, yourself, you get to sort of have a, a great voice in the people that, that are part of that. And so, you know, getting to work with Jennifer was a dream come true. Hopefully she'll want to work with me again. I don't know. <laughs> the film festival circuit will tell. Mm -hmm. Getting to cast people like Sari and, you know, seeing them for, for how epic they are on camera and the kind of work they do. I mean, it's it's amazing. All the other women, Shabana Azmi, a dream come true uh, person to play my mother or just be in a scene with. She's mm -hmm. amazing. Or, yeah, or on set with. Or uh, Audrey Francis, who plays mm -hmm. the, the, the wrestling coach. She's the newest member at the Steppenwolf Theater in Chicago. Um, Charine Alvarez, who plays, um, you know, Alma's mother, just an amazing theater actress. And to get to say, we want you, you, you're the only person we want in this role. It's, 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 it's cool. That's amazing. And then how did, um, Jennifer, how did you get involved in this project? Well, so the producers, aside from, so there was five producers all told, but they were all, all Chicago-centered um, and really wanted this film to be about Chicago and, mm -hmm. and um, a, a cast and crew from Chicago, um, which included then um, a director <clears throat> from Chicago and in particular a female director. And I mean, I would like to say that there's like tons of female directors in Chicago, <laughs> but they're not, you know, I really feel like, you know, there's, there is a kind of exodus to sort of like either coast, but I've been in Chicago for, um, for 20 years. And, um, yeah, so, uh, uh, they reached out to me and we had some meetings and I was eventually offered, you know, offered the job. And it, this is the first film that I directed that, and I didn't write. So I feel like that was actually 
more than anything else was like wondering if I was the right person to direct this, but I knew that at some point I didn't want anyone else to direct it. So yeah. I just had to sort of say like, <laughs> I mean, really kind of selfishly, I was yeah. like, I want to be part of this project I'm, mm. and I will figure out how to make it my own. Well, the fun thing was um, when we were talking to Jennifer and Jennifer's movies are just so prolific and there are these dark comedies and these young girls mm. stories, these coming of age stories. And, you know, then there's me with these brown comedy lesbian <laughs> shorts and web series. And um, one of the questions I asked Jennifer was, well, so what about comedy? Like, I see comedy in your shorts, but what's your one of your comedic inspirations? And she's like, Carol Burnett. And in my brain, I was like, sold! <laughs> you know, I was like, that's so yeah. wonderful, because that sensibility is like spot on, you know? So, um, yeah, that was great. Cool. Salud. <laughs> oh, Salud. Salud. That's an inside joke from the movie. It's fine. Just watch it. <laughs> Just watch it. Uh, but yeah, so you're talking about Chicago, and then Sarah, you're from Chicago, so yeah. and it takes place in Chicago, so what was it like? It, does. it was it really was... cool. I mean, you know, I think having a team that was all uh, from Chicago was really helpful to the film, and you know, it's Boz's story. I think having a lot of women mm -hmm. was really cool. Um, I didn't know that, you had, that this was the first time you hadn't written. Mm -hmm. Jen was so cool to work with, too. Um, and I mean, for me, again, what Fazio was saying, the level of talent in Chicago, um, I think because the theater scene is so strong, is tremendous. Yeah. And it was so fun for me to see the movie for the first time the other night because even people who have just a few scenes and a few lines, I mean, they nearly stole the damn movie. I mean, it's <laughs> really the level of talent, I think, is, is tremendous and it's very, very inspiring. Um, and it was so fun, and I said this before, and I'll say it again because I think it's important as an actor who does go out, and I audition for a lot of roles. This is maybe even, I was really thinking the first role where I felt like I was a daughter first, and I was a sister first, and I was a business owner first. And you get to see all these parts of my life, you yeah. know, and then I, maybe I'm a little bit sexy if you think, <laughs> you know, a little bit of the love interest, but to be a full person was so, um, it was very special to me and I hope that I get to get the opportunity to play roles where I have a full life of a, mm. a person, you know? That was yeah. really cool. Yeah, going off of that, can you tell us a bit about your character in the film? Yeah, um, so she is very, uh, she's very similar to me. Um, <laughs> she's very uh, confident and driven and uh, very close to her family. And, you know, she is Mexican-American, like I am. And um, I think, you know, it's really interesting, I think, how she changes in the film. She's very sure of herself and her ideas and her ideas about relationships. And I think when, you know, she meets Zanib, something changes in her. And I think she it comes, she thinks she sort of knows it all. And I think Zanib really finds the courage to kind of call her on her shit and say, hey, listen, you know, we're not that different, mm -hmm. you and I, even though we come from, you know, different cultures and different backgrounds. Um, and I think where I think maybe I have something to teach her, really, she teaches me a lot. And I think the film, the ending is really beautiful and I think it's really powerful. And um, I love, I love her. Mm. I love her very much. Sounds like there should be a spinoff. Mm. <laughs> I know, right? mm -hmm. Maybe there's a TV show mm -hmm. in this. <laughs> So that's pretty neat. Great. Well, um, that's beautiful. Uh, so what's next for the film? I don't know film? why I just wanted to hold you. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, that's it's the bourbon. <laughs> oh, okay, that's nice. I just took a whiff. I love you. <laughs> Good vibes. Good vibes. Good vibes. Well, okay. Well, what's next for y'all after South By? So it's going to open um, Wicked Queer which Ooh. is the Boston uh, Gay and Lesbian Film Festival. It's, gonna, it's going to close uh, BFI Flair in London, which is the BFI's big, you know, like, lesbian and gay film festival. Mm -hmm. It's screening in the Cleveland International Film Festival, which is just a great film festival. It happens in Cleveland. Yeah. So it has, like, it's, and, like, it, the, so I feel so like just the, beginning. Yeah, the yeses yeah. keep, the yeses keep coming in, which is, like, so unbelievable. I feel like there's so, I mean, just from a, from a, um, like, a human filmmaking perspective. There are so many m films that get made that sort of like never mm -hmm. really ha find an audience, have an audience. And so to make a film that, in, that is a very particular story 
that is that's a, a female story with all women of color uh, in the lead roles, directed by a woman who has female producers and having people from you know from the from the sort of like more particular festivals like the queer film festivals, but but other like to have a world premiere out South by Southwest, you know, was just like forget it. You know, we knew that it was going to have um, a hefty life, and the reviews have been really lovely so far. You know, which is yeah. also just like um, I don't think any of us are taking it for granted. Good, good. It's a it's a great film and a great message. Thank you all for making it and. Uh, congratulations for getting into South by. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Well, thank you guys for coming on. Thanks. 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 Than